So Gutu in the red. Last year, the 20-year-old then finished eighth in the World Championships, seniors. So an up-and-coming wrestler with a big future, Gutu. And his opponent, very accomplished, as uh, having won the European gold medal last year and a world bronze medal also in 2023. Amoyan right now um, is doing what he does best, getting that outside of the arm with control with one and then controlling the elbow and shoulder joint also. Um, and just pressing forward, um, controlling the mat, and uh, controlling the fight. He's really working on that right arm of Gutu, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. This is where he's very good. I met him one time in, uh, in the Bundesliga, and if he gets your arm, you don't get it back. <laughs> Amoyan, he's very strong in that position. And I actually also met uh, Gutu. Uh, in the German Bundesliga also. Is that right? Yeah. The difference so between... So Gutu would have only been about 18 then, was he? Yeah, 18. around that maybe. Um, the difference uh, between those uh, two wrestlers is that uh, when he's very controlled, whereas Gutu, he can make points out of anywhere. Gutu ordered to the ground here, Pater. Moyen takes one point. Now... Gets into the groundwork. Moyen has a very great uh, side lift. Lift us up there and then... Um, Trying for leverage and lifts. Gutu resists, fights it off. Side lift, getting him up. And just throwing out of the mat. Takes him out. And One point, Moyen. That's the kind of tactic you were talking about before, isn't it? Exactly. Take this, the points on offer. This is the safe, uh, the safe move. Because as you see, if he was throwing him out, and then Gutu, he will have stopped him and maybe got two points. So two points to nil in favor of Amoyan. 45 seconds left in the first period. I'm more than just controlling the arm all the time. Referee says no fingers. Ooh. From that arm position, Amoyan, he works on, then he almost got an arm drag right there. So fast, but uh, Gutu just uh, defended in the last second. They'll see it out to the break here. They're both superbly conditioned, very strongly built. Amoyan with the lead at the break. But uh, Gutu giving a pretty good account of himself. So, uh, they're giving, putting some work onto that right arm of his, in fact, both arms, because Amoyan did not let up. He worked on the bicep, he worked on the elbow, he worked on the forearm. We see the Amoyan's coaches is actually the the living legend Amoyan also who has so many international medals. The coach. So we head into the second three-minute period. Malkas Amoyan, the second seed in this event, leading by two points to nil. Okay. Gutu comes out firing. Really pressing forward right now because he wants the opportunity to turn this match around. And the crowd responds to the young man's effort. Moyan trying to a counter. 
Trying to tie up that arm again. And the referee rewards Gutu's energy. Moyan. Uh, we've got medical intrusion here. As Moyan was about to take up the uh, parterre position. It's Gutu who's taken a knock to the snout. <laughs> I believe it is. And just uh, getting his breath again right now because this is a, a very important, uh, important situation right now. Because as we saw in the standing position, Amoyan is controlling the fight. But now it's a good opportunity to, uh, to reverse the, the result. So good too. Refreshed after that short break. Getting for the, the reverse lift, the headlock. Uh, but Amoyan shrugs him off. Gudu comes forward once again, driving. Now Moyan starts to get on top. Yeah, now it'll be just a pure war right now. This is, yeah, it's just pure power, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. It's always like this, maybe half a minute, maybe one minute, a high tempo, a lot of pressure, but then again, the, both of the rest will get tired. How many marks out of 10 for technique right now? <laughs> Not so many. No. It's just pouring themselves at each other. Yeah. Finding that. This is willpower. Yeah, exactly. Finding that small step where they take a step wrong and then just maybe a step out. Moyan leading two points to one. Moyan in the blue. Gutu won't take a backward step. They've put plenty into it. Will they fatigue over this last minute? It's getting wild and a little bit woolly out there. I will see uh, Kutu takes uh, some big breath and I think he will try to explode at some point again. Gutu tries to come back towards the center. Moyan has the experience. 30 seconds remaining. Alexander Ngutu just keeps on fighting. 20 seconds left. He's only down by a point. Moyan controlling it though, you would think. Can Gutu break into him? Penetrate somehow. I think he's run out of gas. He keeps coming, though. He just keeps coming. Well, they threw everything at each other there. And both men are well and truly exhausted. Two points to one. It's a win to Malkas Amoyan in this semi final.